Hey, I'm here with Russell from Volvo Car USA, and we're at the Texas Truck Rodeo, and as you might see, it's raining a little bit, which is perfect, because we really get to test out this Volvo XC90 T8 inscription. You got it. Perfect. It's a beautiful vehicle inside. We'll show you some pictures later. It has this crystal gear shifter. Yes. Real beautiful. crystal from Orifers, which is a Swedish crystal maker. That's, that's yeah. pretty special. I mean, Volvo has a way of working on those little details that you notice, right? The details do count. And as a design-led company now, um, you know, we've mixed design with safety. Volvo is a safety brand, always has been, mm -hmm. always will be. But now design has become a huge play in what we do as, as sustainability. And we can talk about that later too. But mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the design of the car, uh, a lot of Scandinavian influence uh, because in Scandinavia, less is more. Right. So it's a very minimalistic design. There's not a lot of clutter on the dashboard or in the cars. Um, the materials are top quality. If it looks like wood, it's wood. If it looks like metal, it's metal. And if it looks like crystal, it's crystal. <laughs> yeah, um, there's really no plastic to be seen. It's it's elegant inside. It's very elegant, yeah. And it's a really nice place to be. We call it our Scandinavian sanctuary. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and the, the idea is to be... Uh, when you drive, you know, now modern driving now is really not about fastest lap time or who can get around the curve the right. quickest. It's about um, feeling relaxed and calm and in control. So the idea when we developed our new cars starting in 2015 with the XC90, which actually won uh, Truck of Texas in 2015, um, was that you feel refreshed or as fresh when you get to your destination as you did when you left. The massaging seats definitely help. The massaging seats help, the <laughs> heated and cooled seats help. Yeah. Massaging seats, let me say that again. The massaging <laughs> seats while you're driving. It's, it's like very driving nice. driving a Scandinavian spa. It, it is very nice, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we've also got, of course, the, the um, pilot assist, which is the automatic driver assist or automated driver assist systems. Um, so it will, it's a level two. It means it's an assistive system. You do have to keep one hand on mm -hmm. the wheel, but it will uh, maintain a safe distance to the car in front of you and match the speed, and it'll keep the car on the road in stop and go traffic and on long distance drives, which I know is very important in Texas. And probably, you know, as someone who writes often about the family market, probably what I get asked more than anything mm -hmm. is tell me what are the best three row SUVs for families? Well, and the XC90, of course. Obviously, the XC90s, <laughs> the name comes up frequently there's plenty of room in here love the leather and yep. the massaging seats you know so you get the elegance but you also have the safety yep. and you have the space well the in 2002 Volvo created the three row SUV segment and not the segment itself but a three row SUV as safe as a Volvo for all passengers even the third row passengers because if you remember from that time, there were some three-row SUVs, but they were the big trucks that they just chucked a bench seat in the way back and right, called right. it a day. <laughs> and that's not how Volvo operated. If you're going to ever be in a Volvo, every single passenger gets the safety treatment. Well, so we have big, big, audacious safety goals at Volvo. So we like, do. You have to walk the talk, right? Yes, we have our, our, our safety vision, which is that nobody should be killed or seriously injured in a new Volvo. Um, we've always worked toward... Um, keeping our passengers safe, our core values are about people, and that means you have to keep people safe. So we invented the three-point seatbelt in 1959. This is actually the 60th anniversary. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. that little Yeah, um, so you got on, on the right seatbelt itself. You can, you see, can it. see it. I don't know if you can, can you see it there. Let's see. Can you see it? Ooh, there we it's go. Right there Since 1959. Take um, ownership. And uh, you know, it's probably the most um, impactful safety technology ever developed and when we saw how effective it could be in its development we immediately released the patent so anybody could use it so anytime you see a three-point seatbelt you can thank our thank you, engineers in 1959 for doing that and for releasing the patent so there's you can it's safe to say no pun intended that there's a three-point seatbelt uh, sorry there's a little bit of Volvo in every car I love yeah. that. It's in pretty fact, cool. It yeah. was, uh, it's, it makes us proud. It's a really nice thing to say. Yeah, I think it was yeah. 1959, in fact. My dad was in a car accident, not in a Volvo. Yeah. Got thrown from the vehicle, no seatbelt, and he lost his right arm. 
Wow. I mean, so the idea wow. of uh, how important seatbelts are yeah. has been drummed into me at an early oh, age. Oh, yeah. Mine, too. I'm, I'm uncomfortable in a car without a seatbelt on. Yeah. And I'm uncomfortable in a car if somebody else is not wearing a seatbelt. Because what many people don't realize, you know, if I choose not to wear a seatbelt, mm -hmm. that's my prerogative is kind of the mentality. Right. But the truth is, if I'm in a collision, if I get into a collision at 30 miles an hour, that unbelted passenger becomes a 150-pound, mm -hmm. 30-mile projectile. Yep, absolutely. Uh, imagine somebody throwing an old CRT television set at you at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> that's, mm. that's jarring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly the analogy, and that's exactly what it would be. So we should always buckle up in the car no matter where you're sitting in the car, if not for your own safety, for those around you. So if somebody was trying to choose... Somebody were trying to choose between all the three row SUVs on mm -hmm. the market. What would, what should push them toward the Volvo? So, um, there's a lot of things that that appeal to Volvo buyers. Um, safety, of course, number one. Um, design and engineering and technology. Uh, the cars are technological tour de forces. Uh, we have a 12 inch touchscreen control panel mm -hmm. in the dashboard, which not only declutters the dashboard, but it also gives you a greater level of control for everything in the vehicle from uh, climate control to navigation to vehicle functions. Um, we've also worked in safety features in the vehicle that people are not thinking of, like runoff road protection, mm -hmm. which is another world first in safety for Volvo. Um, in Texas, a lot of roads, two lane roads, a lot of roads. ditches on either mm -hmm. side, right? Um, if you run off the road, the car goes off the road, it launches in the air and it comes down vertically very hard. Might not hit anything, mm -hmm. but it comes down very hard and it transfers all that energy up into your back. So, and it causes spinal injuries. So what we've done is we've actually made crumple zones in the seat mechanisms so that the seat will collapse a little bit, absorbing that energy away from your back and hopefully giving you a greater chance, or absolutely giving you a greater mm -hmm, chance of mm -hmm. walking away from an incident like that. That's really important for anyone who's driving, riding in a car, anybody who cares about the people in their car, oh, yeah. which is yeah. most people, most I would people. think. Yep, absolutely. Um, we've got airbags all around. Um, you've got comfort features uh, throughout the vehicle. Uh, we have this new six passenger seating configuration mm -hmm. for this year. So if you can see, it's nice and easy. You can see all the way to the third row there. If you've got kids that are getting back there quite often, yeah, it's, it's very easy to put, to put them in and out all the time. The seats accommodate um, rear-facing and forward-facing seats, uh, you know, child seats, mm -hmm. so it's very easy to work in and out. Um, just, and if you want something unique, you know, Volvo has always had a very small market share in this country, but I think an outsized presence. So I think it'd be very hard to find someone who doesn't have some kind of story to tell about their experience with Volvo. Either they owned one, or they knew someone who had one, or they knew someone who was saved by one. Yeah, for sure. There's some Everyone has a Volvo story. Um, but we've only ever had, at the most, a 1% market share in the United States. So if you want something exclusive, unique, special, I think you should really consider Volvo. Yep, I think this XC90 is pretty special. Yeah. Thank uh, you for listening. Did you say the sexy 90? Uh, or the XC90? It could be. I think it is. The sexy XC90. The sexy like XT90. <laughs> New marketing. We're creating it right here, people. You're watching <laughs> marketing in action. There you go. Volvo. We enjoyed having you, Russell. Thanks so much, Kristen. Thank Pleasure you. being here. Yeah.